In this video, we're going to talk all about summation notation. What does the notation for a sum look like? You can see it on screen here, and we're going to break it down so that you really understand it so it's not intimidating in the future. Okay, so first of all, this symbol here, the sideways, the thing that looks like a sideways M, is the Greek letter sigma. It's a capital sigma. And sigma is like in Greek is like S in English. So you can think of this like a capital S standing for sum. So already that makes a little bit of sense. This symbol here is telling us we need to sum something. Okay, and there's two major pieces that we need to think about. The first one is the index, which in this case I use the letter I, but it could be J or K. Those are other common letters, or really any letter that you want to put there. Um, but I for index makes a lot of sense. So the in blue is the index. It starts at 1 and it goes up to N. And in pink is the summation term AI. And that is the thing that we're actually summing. So if we write this out, this sum looks like A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus all the way until we get to AN. So that's the summation, uh, uh, that, that, this is the actual thing that we're doing. We're actually summing A1 through AN. And I'll explain what A, AI means in, in just a minute here. And as we do that, the index, I, is just going from 1, 2, 3, up to N. So you can see I goes from 1 to N, and as that happens, we sum up AI. A1, A2, A3, A4, uh, A4 all the way up through AN. Okay, so let's see an example so this, this actually makes sense. How about we do this example. I is 1 to 5 of the number 7. So the summation term is actually just a constant. It's just 7 over and over again. So as our index goes from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's i, our index, what are we going to be summing? We're just going to be summing 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7. Plus 7. And in this case, this is 5 7, so that ends up being 35. Okay, so I hope that you can see here that the index is running from 1 to 5, just like we said, and all the AI term is, the actual summation term, is just a constant. So we just add that up five times. Let's see another example. How about the sum when i equals 1 to 10 of how about 2i? Okay, well, the index is going from 1 to 10. 1, 2, 3. I'm not going to write all these out. Let's just skip to 10 here. And what is the summation term? Well, it's 2i. So when i is 1, this is just 2 times 1 is 2. When i is 2, we get 2 times 2 is 4. When i is 3, we get 2 times 3 is 6. And of course, we're adding these. This is the term we're actually summing. And then all the way till when i is 10, we get 2 times 10 is 20. So I'm not actually going to add this up right now. In, in future videos, we'll learn how to solve this. We'll learn some formulas and some, some tricks for solving these sums so that we can get this answer right away. But for now, we just you just have to add it up, uh, which I'm not going to take the time to do. I won't bore you with that. You can add it up if you want. But I hope this, this helps. Let's just do one more quick example here. Erase these. How about something like the sum from i1 to 3 of i squared plus 2? Okay, well, it's the same exact strategy. Here our index is just going from 1, 2, and 3. And what is our term? Well, when i is 1, we get 1 squared plus 2, so that's 3. When i is 2, we get 2 squared, which is 4, plus 2, so that's 6. And when i is 3, we get 3 squared, which is 9, plus 2, that's 11. And of course, we're adding up this summation term. And what is this equal to? Well, 3 plus 6 is 9, plus 11, this is just 20. Okay, 
All right, so I hope this, I really hope this clarifies some, some things just about the notation. So when you see things like this in the future, hopefully you're not as intimidated. You understand that i is the index, it's just going to go 1, 2, 3, or 1 up to n, in this case up to n. And whatever is sitting in front of the summation is the thing that you actually add up. Okay, so in the future videos, we'll, we'll take this to the next level. We'll learn some formulas for how to solve these, um, and we'll make sums really easy. See you then.